in the older days before, you know, back in the 50s, they had uh, the laws that you, the associations would agree not to sell to African Americans and uh, Chinese and other than just them, you know. So I went to Wei Lee and I told him what I'd like to do and he says, we talked about three times. He says, you're really serious about this, aren't you? I says, yes, I, I know I can do this. I know I can do it. And uh, so he signed a note for 50 grand because I needed to do some remodeling. And I never will forget the price, $1,428.88 a month, 1963. Interest rate was 12%. In three years, I had a mortgage burning party. I, I advertised mortgage burning party. You know, everybody came down. I had a big number three um, tub used to bathe in when I was little. You know, all my family bathed. <laughs> and uh, so I just lit it, burned it. Everybody was clapping. <laughs> Clubs paid for. We were home free in three years. I remember the first night that Etta James was going to play at the club. My drummer called and said, uh, I, I won't be able to work tonight, I'm ill. I says, oh man, okay, well, we got Edda, so I gotta find a drummer. And Ronnie Steen, he's the probably number two drummer in Portland, and might, might, I'm sure he considered himself number one. Mel Brown is, <laughs> he the man. <laughs> I said, Ronnie, you ever played a show? He says, no, I haven't. I said, you gotta play a show tonight, get your sticks, you gotta come on over, Edda's over here. So he came over and Played for Edda. The first first show he ever played was with Edda James. Got the plan. <laughs> Got the plan too loud. Edda says, "Stop the music." She says, "You little so and so, if you don't quit playing." <laughs> she cursed him out right on stage. <laughs> he was running 16 years old, being cursed out by Edda James. <laughs>